Hi everybody, welcome to Cake Tastic Cakes. It's Jen and I'm going to show you how I put together this quick and simple little cake for St. Patrick's Day for a friend of mine. And if you see me using any tools or supplies you can use, if you check the link in the description below, it'll take you to my website and it should be able to help you out. Now to begin my cakes, I started, since it is St. Patrick's Day themed, I decided to make mint chocolate chip cake. So I just took my yellow cake recipe, dyed it green, added some mint extract to it as well as some as a, a good shot of peppermint schnapps because I figured why not St. Patrick's Day right so anyway I made vanilla buttercream icing and I have four six inch cakes here so it's just four six inch cakes stack them on top put a crumb coating of icing on it pop it in the fridge while that was setting up I took two bowls of icing I added a little bit of yellow food coloring to one and a little bit of green food coloring to the other. I just mixed them up and then put them aside. All right, now my cake has come out of the fridge. It's set up nice and stiff for me. And I'm now going to just start putting yellow and green icing just kind of here and there all over it. So I wasn't really, I didn't really have too much of a goal except I just wanted a blend of color. And I figured if it gets a little lime colored, it's not gonna hurt anything. So I put a lot of the yellow on. I Put it pretty much everywhere and then I took the green and filled in the rest and went over the yellow a bit as well. Now this kind of cake you know because it's so basic you don't need a whole lot of skill to be able to do it as long as you can ice a cake then you can do this one and uh, uh, the yellow recipe I made um, I have a simpler version too rather than making it from scratch if you didn't want to I do have a video that I will try to add to the links here and it will explain how to um, make a box cake into, you know, a variety of different cakes. I have a few videos on that as well. All right, so I have the green. I spread it all over, and then I realized I kind of felt like the yellow was going to get just completely hidden. So I took some of my scraps of yellow and put a couple little patches here and there, just wherever I felt like it needed a little bit more brightness brought to it. And then, you know, as you drag it around, it gets dragged around. So you could see there was a little bit of like um, pock marks or holes in the icing there. So I just patched it in, give it another swipe, let's see how the colors look. And if I, you know, clean off the extra on the top. And if you're happy with it, then stop. If you feel like, you know, it needs to be cleaned up more. If you want it smoother, if you want a different blend of colors, just keep adding icing and scraping away and adding and scraping and adding and scraping until you're happy with how it looks. All right, I was happy with this blend. It's not the best, you know, icing job in the world, but I thought it was pretty. So I said, good, okay, I liked it. Okay, now I have um, a Wilton set of flower prints or leaf cutters and that kind of thing. And this one that I'm using here is for a dogwood flower but I'm calling it my four-leaf clover because <laughs> it's what it reminds me of. So I have, as you can see, some gum paste. This is gum paste. You could use fondant if you added some CMC or Tylos powder to it, but I'm using gum paste so it'll dry nice and hard. And I printed out some of the uh, dogwood blossoms in dark green and as well as you can see in the corner, light green, but I ended up not using the light green, so I just kind of ignored those. And I'm also printing out just some little white flowers because I thought that would be good too. I made a whole bunch of those and I made, I don't know, maybe six of the um, dark green dogwood blossoms. So this little print kit, as you see, makes nice little flowers. Um, these I'm going to now take and make them a little more four leaf clovery. So I've got some white food coloring and I'm using one of my paint brushes here. And I'm just taking some of it and just kind of brushing up and down, just making kind of fuzzy lines around the center if you were to draw a circle in the leaves that's what I'm doing because um, clover leaves tend to have like a little bit of light color in them a little striation here and there so that's what I was trying to do make it just a little bit prettier a little more interesting to look at and this is just straight up food coloring I am it's a gel food coloring I'm not adding any alcohol or water or anything like that to it. it's just straight up food coloring so I've got, let's see, I've got five of them here. I thought I had six, so I was close. <laughs> I almost had it. Now I'm just gonna stick everything on my cake. Uh, my food coloring is still a little wet, so I'm trying to press it into the cake in the center there. And I'm just kind of staggering the clovers down and to the side a little bit. They're not quite going straight up and down the cake. 
Well, obviously, they're not going straight up and down the cake, but a little bit more of a flow to the side. So I've got my four on the side there. I'm going to start adding my little white flowers. Um, I just have them kind of filling in all around the clovers. However I wanted, whatever I thought looked good, just to make it more interesting, give it a little more color, all that good stuff. So yeah, some of the little clover leaves were kind of flappy, <laughs> a little, little, little uh, softer than I should have had them when I put them back onto the cake. So I'm using some of the flowers to just kind of press down on the outside of the leaves of the clovers just to hold them down and in place. So there you go, yes. Okay, now, not done yet. I'm gonna add a little bit more to it. I've got a few more flowers, and again, tucking them in, make it look nice and busy and pretty and fun, like a little field of flower, wild flowers go in there, just like that. And now I'm going to add some more to the top. I've got one more, more clover, there's my last clover. I'm leaning it up on a stick because I had to give it to my friend and it wasn't dry. Now, I am filling in the center of the flowers with just a touch of water on my paintbrush so I can stick a little gold bead in the center of each one to add some gold sh shimmer and shine to our St. Patty's Day cake. Now, my final touch here is I have some very small shiny gold beads here and I am using some water from that little cup there that I moved, <laughs> that I just moved, to make my fingers sticky so they stick to it. And then uh, whatever sticks to me, I am just pressing then into the side of the cake. So I've got clumps, I've got little single ones, it kind of goes all over the place. Again, just to give it a little bit more of a shine, make it pretty, have it just a little bit more of gold so it is more St. Patrick's Day and not just, you know, clovers. So there you go. Nice, simple little St. Patrick's Day cake. I hope you find this video helpful. Please like and subscribe because it really does help me out as well. I've got a lot of other videos out there, so please take a look. And as always, thank you for watching Cake Tastic Cakes.